problems in Europe? Uh, Italy yeah. now having a problem no, with Greece? Yep, seems like it's Italy. There are also, what I didn't realize is that MF Global scandal that's been kind of rocking the marketplace, that takes a long time for them to clean up that mess. I had a commodity trader on the air with me this morning on my radio show, and he said uh, that uh, R.J. O'Brien, a trading firm, actually asked the U.S. Department of Agriculture to slow down their release on their November crop report. Slated for tomorrow, they wanted them to push it back to next week because there's so many positions that are still tied up on that MF Global deal. They wanted to clean up all their mess before they got more information in. USDA says, "Uh uh-uh, no deal. They're sticking with their regular report release time. That's tomorrow morning. So that's a lot of what's bogging down the Dow Jones and, in turn, not doing great things for my commodities. In the livestock trade around southern Wisconsin, the equity sales barn so far this week Finnish beef steers and heifers are at a dollar ten to a dollar twenty-two, topping at a dollar thirty per pound. Holstein steers this week a dollar to a dollar nine, with cows ranging forty-nine to sixty-three cents a pound. Holstein bull calves have gone up to one hundred and twenty-five dollars per individual animal. The heifers up to one hundred and ninety, and beef calves this week up to two hundred and thirty dollars per animal. The grain trade on the midday is trying to rebound in front of tomorrow's USDA crop report. Uh, they just got the numbers in as far as the overall harvest across the United States, and there's probably at least seventy-eight percent of the crop nationwide that's been harvested. One area that we really do have to pay attention to is Ohio. They've only got like 32% of their corn crop harvested and here it is, what, the 8th of November. So that's one troubling spot that the markets are going to have to factor in. Dairy on the midday is also trending a little bit higher. December cheese milk's up too right now with the January milk currently trading a nickel higher. Class, uh, or Product prices. Barrel cheese today in Chicago is unchanged. 40 pound block cheese up two and a quarter at 190. Double A butter today down three quarters of a cent at 180 and three quarters. So that's uh, what's happening in the markets. I'm going to grab my keys. I'm on my way to Kansas City for my National Farm Broadcaster Convention. So I will be departing before the snow can catch me, I hope. Okay, now watch your speed. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. Well, apparently, apparently you watch it for me, so yeah, I'm so. all right. <laughs> all right, man, we'll catch up with you next week then. All right, have a safe trip. Have fun down yep. there.